Good afternoon children. Now we shall study about the nervous system. You already know sight, smell, hearing, taste and touch are the five senses that help us to feel the world around us. Without senses there is no way of knowing what is going around us. Using our sense organs we are able to sense what is going on in the surroundings and do something in reaction to that input. For example, if you see a bike that might hit you, you jump out of the way. Your sense organ, eyes, saw the bike. Your brain figured out that the bike might hit you and your brain told your muscles to make your legs jump out of the way. You sensed and then acted. But wait a moment. Your brain is clearly up in your head while your leg is clear down on your body. How does your brain talk to your leg? Somehow they must be connected for talking. This connection between your brain and your leg as well as every other part of your body is known as your nervous system. You can also say the nervous system is the highway along which your brain sends and receives information about what is happening in your body and around it. Nerves are the groups of fibers that connect the brain with the other parts of the body. They carry messages from the body to the brain and back from the brain to the body. Nerves from the head and the neck join the brain. Nerves from the other parts of the body join the spinal cord. What is spinal cord? The spinal cord is a long bundle of nerves inside your vertebral column or the backbone. The spinal cord is connected to the brain. So, it is the spinal cord and the nerves that let messages flow back and forth between the brain and the body. Thus, the main organs in the nervous system are the brain, spinal cord and the nerves. Can you compare the nervous system with anything you see around? Yes, it can be compared to the telephone system. The nervous system is like a telephone system because the phone sends messages to the other people over wires like the brain sends messages to other parts of body through nerves. The brain is the control center of the entire body. The brain works non-stop taking and sending messages and making decisions. Looking at the structure of the brain, you may wonder why isn't it just a somewhat flat surface like the rest of our organs? Why it has the folded ruffled shape? It is such for a reason. The brain is highly folded so that it has more room for the nerve cells or the cerebral neurons. It is this way human brains pack a large surface area into a small container, the skull. The more the nerve cells, the more function the brain can do. Hence, the more intelligent it becomes. This is also the reason why humans are the most intelligent in the animals. The lower animals have smoother, flat, unfolded brains with lesser nerve cells. Hence, they are less intelligent. The brain is a delicate organ. It is well protected by the bony skull. You know, a clear liquid is present between the skull and the brain which cushions the brain from the heavy blows and jerks. Similarly, the spinal cord is also a very delicate structure which is protected by the vertebral column or the backbone. Now we know it's the nerves which carry the messages. But how are the messages transmitted along our nervous system? Interesting to know 
messages travel from our brain to the various body parts via electricity are all the nerves of same kind no they are different kinds of nerves made of different kinds of nerve cells bundled together they carry messages back and forth just the way the telephone wires do some nerves send messages to the brain and generally connect to the brain through the spinal cord inside the backbone these are called sensory nerves they are called sensory nerves as they are generally involved with the sense organs some nerves carry the messages back from the brain to all the muscles and glands in the body these are called motor nerves why motor nerves they are called motor nerves as they are generally involved with the motor skills some are mixed nerves these not only carry messages to the brain but also carry instructions from the brain to the other body parts so there are three kinds of nerves sensory nerves motor nerves and mixed nerves in a previous example of jumping out of the way on seeing the bicycle approaching you how were the nerves involved on seeing the bicycle the sensory nerves carried information to the brain that the bicycle is approaching the motor nerves carried the message from the brain to the leg muscle to pull up and jump so now that we know about the main organs of the nervous system let us see how they coordinate with each other suppose an ant bites on your hand you feel the itch and start scratching your hand how does this happen the skin feels the itch and the nerves send electrical message to the spinal cord which sends it to the brain the brain interprets the message and sends the response the response is received by the spinal cord from the spinal cord the nerves carry the message to the hand muscles when the message reaches your hand your muscles obey and do as they are instructed that is start scratching your other hand where the ant bit you we see generally the brain coordinates the responses but sometimes a very quick response is needed we cannot waste time to think these are the emergency actions during such times is it necessary to involve the brain no we can do without consulting it these are called reflex actions a reflex is an involuntary or automatic action that your body does in response to something without you even having to think about it reflexes protect your body from the things that can harm it for example by mistake if you put your hand on a burning candle a reflex causes you to immediately remove your hand even before any message goes to your brain it is the spinal cord that instructs the muscle to remove your hand the emergency actions are taken care by the spinal cord itself to save time so in a nutshell reflexes are processed directly by the spinal cord instead of the brain thus allowing you to respond very quickly to danger without wasting time thinking about what you should do can you compare the nervous system with something else yes one can compare the nervous system with the computer nervous system is like a computer because both use electrical signals to send messages both have a memory that can grow both can adapt and learn but the most important and amazing thing is human brain is far more intelligent than the computer it enables you to speak play sports listen to the music imagine and learn different things great isn't it 
to sum up the brain spinal cord and the nerves are the major organs of the nervous system the nervous system controls everything we do to think to take decisions to remember to learn voluntary activities that is activities which are under our control like muscle movement involuntary activities that is activities which are not under our control like breathing heart pumping that's all for today kids see you in the next class bye for now